Today's video, I'll be showing you exactly how to customize your website chat widget using 3.5 GPT. And I will also be showing you three different templates for different styles of chat widgets that you can get at the end of this video. I'll be showing you an example on how I'm starting exactly from scratch as a person who has zero coding knowledge in creating a customized chat widget. With that in mind, let's jump straight into it. As you can see, we're here in chatbotbuilder.ai. And the first thing we want to do is head on over to flows and create a new flow by clicking on add, giving it a name and clicking continue. I have already created a new flow and this is what it looks like. So we'll be starting off with creating a landing page node. And the way to do this is by clicking the little plus icon here and clicking on landing page. And done, you have a landing page node. So for this video, we have three different templates, which I had mentioned in the intro of this video. And we have the sandbox, which is where we'll be creating it completely from scratch. And so before that, what I want to do is show you the three different templates. Template number one, as you can see, is a little one down here that opens up after three seconds. Very basic, limitless marketing. Hello, how can I assist you today? Click it to minimize. Off to the next one. Template number two. Let's preview it. This is the official chatbot builder website chat widget. As you can see, it has a little pop-up text here. When you click it, it makes a sound and you can even have it on dark mode. So by clicking this little moon right here, it turns it into dark mode. So I'll be showing you how to customize that as well. Let's close this down. Template number three, preview. As you can see, when it opens up, it has a little elastic effect, um, rubber band effect pretty much. I, I really like this one. And you can just click this down done let's close this one so those are the three templates which i'll be giving you the code for at the end of this video so make sure to stay tuned starting out with sandbox and the first thing i'm going to do is head over to flows look for ai default reply easy or whichever one is your ai default reply grab the link for the web chat and head over back to chat gpt so as you can see here i have already got a prompt in my 3.5 chat gpt this is the one that I've come to find to be the best through trial and error. So if we go over it, it says develop a HTML only chat widget with a clickable circular chat bubble in blue gradient located at the screen's bottom right. The bubble should display a chat emoji. On click, a chat window initially hidden should appear above the bubble. This window must contain an embedded iframe loading content from, and if you can recognize this, this is the published link of your default reply. Include functionality for the window to toggle visibility with each bubble click. Designed to be responsive on various device sizes. Click enter and let that baby write the code out for us. So as I can see, it's doing everything right. Copy code and I'll show you how to do this again. Click on this, add content, code, paste. Control V, there we go. Publish and preview. Preview, preview, preview. As you can see, it's right here. Perfect. Now let's click on it and beautiful. We've got our very basic chat widget. I think this is amazing already. <laughs> let's make some changes. Let's say that I would want a 3D shadow effect. I'll say looks amazing. Make the chat emoji a little bigger bigger inside the bubble and for the chat window that appears i would love a 3d shadow effect also make the edges and corners of the iframe round and let's see if it does everything that I had asked it to do. Okay, loading. Oh, please give me a very good one. Copy code, chat widget, sandbox, control A, paste, publish. And let's see what we got. Publish preview. Bam, already bigger, pops up. It's got a 3D shadow effect as you can see with everything else rounded we can actually make the iframe a little bit higher up. So we can say 
actually let's say make the chat bubble that is being clicked a little smaller and that should make it perfect mm -hmm. wonderful let's copy this beautiful code sandbox paste and publish publish preview and <laughs> it's kind of done it but not really it gets smaller when clicked on um i'll just say i need it even smaller and the iframe to be taller with all elements inside still fitting perfectly now let's check this out so as you can see this is an entirely you know trial and error process but as time goes on you kind of find out which prompts or what adjustments really make it um, easier to customize your chat widget and you kind of just stick with that so let's see if that has fixed it publish preview see smaller just the way it should be and this is taller with the shadows around to give it a 3d effect oh perfect and also everything inside fits beautifully another thing that we could do is and this has been quite high in demand and i think you'll kind of see what i'm trying to get it make the chat window pop up pop up actually make the chat window open automatically if the user doesn't click click in three seconds so let's see if this works so in theory what i'm trying to do is if someone's coming onto the website and they're scrolling away that after three or five or ten seconds it pops up automatically you can also do this in a sense where if you told it that don't pop up unless the, the user has scrolled through 50 percent of the website that is also an option so let me just copy this and see if it has taken my instructions to heart and fixed all of the issues and enables me to have that done so preview one two three Mm. almost almost i can't see the chat window um after it opens in three seconds let's see if we can fix it as such just telling it what the issue is it says i apologize for the oversight to ensure the chat window is visible after it opens automatically in three seconds you should set its height to an appropriate value here's the correct code let's copy this and see if it indeed is the correct code publish preview one two and three Ta -da. it's like magic beautiful so that is for customizing a chat widget completely from scratch using that prompt that i will provide in the description down below but also let's have a quick look before we end off this session i want to show you how you can customize the templates so template number one is very similar to the one that we just set up let me just make sure by previewing this preview click it yeah so that's pretty much the same thing so you can just say you know include your business name in the header um you know change the the chat emoji all those things pretty much the same process on what we just went through now let's look at the second template which is preview this one okay so this one's gonna be a bit more fun sounds already included and dark mode is there so chat widget click on this grab the code copy chat gpt let's open up a new one paste the code in and say i want the png because the image is a png png removed and put in a emoji 
emoji a smile no no a chat emoji in the chat bubble the name of the header should be limitless marketing I want the color of everything to be blue gradient and I would like to include the text bam bam mic drop in the pop up text now this is a little bit more of a complex um code you know with a bunch more things added into it from the original that we just created but i think we should be able to get much majority of it sorted just with that single prompt and again trial and error uh continue to generate make sure it's giving us the full code yeah that looks like the full code let's copy this head on over to sandbox and see if the changes have taken effect publish Perfect. So as you can see, Chatbot Builder AI, we're going to have to remove that. We're going to change Chatbot Builder AI and remove the pop-up. Change the header, header to limitless marketing and the pop-up text needs to disappear. When the chat bubble appears. Now let's see if this works. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Copy the code. Head on over back to sandbox. And let's see what it has done. So it's still here. Will it disappear when I click on this? Yes, it does. Limitless marketing right there. Beautiful. And night mode. Yep. And that is how you customize this template. Awesome. So now we're on template number three. Uh, we just have a last preview of it to see what it looks like. Yes, this is the one that pops up after three seconds. Beautiful. Got an image. The business name, my name, and my title. I can actually show you a little trick on how to customize that in itself. Let's copy this and head over to sandbox, control A, delete V, and let's look for my name. So as you can see, bam, right here, we got limitless marketing, Asasana founder. If we change Asasana, sorry, founder to the man, the man. As you can see, it says here, dumb man. <laughs> Let's publish this and preview it. <laughs> the man. As you can see, it's very simple. The text and stuff, you can just scroll through the code and just find it and just replace it. That's honestly, there is no need even to use AI for that. Same thing goes for like, actually with the image itself, I'm not too sure. Like for example, I don't know how to do it with the image. So let's pick an image. Let's say, um dogs let's choose a cute puppy image copy link copy copy image address head here okay so this is what we're gonna do i'll show you exactly what to do we're gonna copy this code we're gonna head over to chat gpt paste it in there copy image address head back to chat gpt Please replace the image with this one. And something as simple as that should, should sort me out. So let's see. I'm quite interested actually if this is going to work. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to work. <laughs> Copy code. Sandbox. The moment of truth. Paste publish preview 
pop up, show me a dog, show me a dog. Look at that. Simple as that. A nice cute little puppy. Okay, looks like we come to the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your time. I will link all of the necessary resources down in the description below. If you like this kind of content and if you find this valuable, please like and subscribe and share my video. It helps me grow as a personal brand and helps me grow our own YouTube account, which then enables me to help others. That is it for now. Thank you and I'll catch you in the next one.